I'm Kaylee Morg, and these are five tracks that inspired me. The first one, I wanted to pick a song from my childhood, and I immediately thought of Norwegian Wood by the Beatles. Um, I've just always loved the Beatles. I pretty much listened to anything that my dad listened to until I was 13. And I actually ended up learning Eleanor Rigby on guitar. That kind of just inspired me to learn guitar in general. So I started there and that song has stuck with me. Even now, it's one of my favorite songs. The first song I actually learned on guitar was Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles. So I kind of just like carried that through my adulthood and I like dove even further into that band this past year and just listened to all the songs I didn't grow up listening to. So it's just like heavily impacted me lyrically, sonically, pretty much everywhere. Song number two is Jamestown Ferry by Charlie Crockett. And hear me out because I know not everybody loves country music and I was definitely part of that club for a little bit and I didn't just, I didn't really get it. I was like, I like some country. And it's so funny because in retrospect, I listened to so much country music growing up. I think I just didn't like consider it country. But this song really just blew the doors open on the whole world of country and honky tonk. And I am obsessed ever since. I listened to a lot of Morgan Wallen and Casey Musgraves and it just like changed my life as far as writing and how the world around me inspires me. Song number three is Right Through You by Alanis Morissette. I don't think I could have made a list like this without including some sort of like 90s powerhouse icon and not in the way that I think like when I think of pristine perfect pop stars like Britney Spears like there's something about Alanis that really stuck out to me as just being herself and being normal and that really really inspired me with my upcoming debut album and just like embracing parts of myself that I didn't think I could incorporate into a more glamorous version of myself and obviously the message being her talking to people and men on her team that didn't understand her I definitely uh, blasted this one a little bit through the past few years and just like felt like someone could relate to me. Lives by Modest Mouse is one that I like wasn't sure if I should put on this list because it hasn't really inspired me as far as like the sound that I do, but the writing is just absolutely insane. Isaac Brock is one of my all-time favorite writers, and I think some people that know Modest Mouse for Float On might be kind of surprised by this choice, but this album is just so full of like philosophical and existential lyrics and things that honestly don't even sound like lyrics. They sound like poetic, I guess, and there's this line of his that stuck with me ever since I heard it that's, um, the universe is shaped exactly like the earth. If you go straight long enough, you'll end up exactly where you were. And that just to me has never left my brain. I love that band so much and it's really changed the way I view some of my like introspective episodes and how I can incorporate them into my writing. The last song is Norman Fucking Rockwell by Lana Del Rey. I had a little mental battle of which song I should choose of hers. I've been so inspired as of recent by um, Chemtrails Over the Country Club and her more recent stuff. And I think it's it feels like a departure of what's happening in music right now as far as alternative and hyper pop and all these like crazier sounds to hear somebody write the way she does over just keys, strings, guitar. It's so refreshing. and. It's really challenged me to like write great music over minimal production and see what comes from me. And also like when I listen to her music, it just makes me want to buy a nightgown and like walk around in a candelabra. So that's great too. <laughs> 